me in the park yesterday, Stephen. I was there with my daughter. My daughter! The last thing that I want to do is to hurt you and Rena. It's a little late for that, don't you think? Uh, Rachel and I... It's not what it seems. You're having an affair. What exactly is there not to understand? Keep her away from me and my daughter. Hi, Mommy, Daddy. Hey, Pumpkin. Bye, sweetie. Have fun. I'll see you Sunday. Keep her away from me and my daughter, Stephen. I mean it. Thinking about a woman, mild-mannered, happy-go-lucky school teacher by day, but at night she would go to the bars and clubs looking for men. It was like she was purposely looking for trouble. She was murdered by a man she met in a bar. Her name was Roseanne Quinn. You've heard of her. Murdered in New York City in 1973. Why do you bring her up? I can't help but think that I'm somehow like her. Searching for trouble. I think that what you're dealing with is rape trauma syndrome. It's a mix of psychological and physical effects due to the sexual assault. What happened to you isn't about you. It's about him. And he saw an opportunity to overpower you and he did. Ever since this happened, I've been hurting myself. What do you mean? I allowed this to happen, so I punish myself. Oh. And what have, what, what, what have you been doing? raped, how would you cope? People who have been raped cope in many different ways. I can't remember the last time we all had dinner together. You know, it is nice. We've all been so busy. How was work today? My day was 
Interesting. Stephen's mistress approached me while I was in the park today with Rena. What? What for? To apologize and get me to forgive him. Are you considering? Absolutely not. I can't forgive his betrayal. Honey, you're going to have to find a way to forgive him. What? No. What, uh, what are you talking about, Paul? Listen, I love you and I, I am so appreciative that you and Mom took us in, but uh, forgiving Stephen is not an option. Excuse me. Are you still upset with me? I'm not upset with you, Paul. I just thought it was incredibly insensitive what you said to Michelle. I wasn't trying to be insensitive, but I just meant we don't know the full story. It's not me that you should be talking to. You should be talking to our daughter. Hello? Yeah, Pam? What, wait, what? Oh my God, are you okay? Yes, of course, I'll be right there. Yeah, okay. What's wrong? Uh, it was my client. The man who attacked her just tried again. What? Is she okay? I think so. The police have him, and um, I'm going to meet her at the station. Well, I'm coming with you. No, no, you stay here and talk to Michelle. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be home soon. Honey, can we talk? Uh, so, about what I said at dinner, I didn't mean to offend you. It sounded like you were siding with Stephen. He did cheat on me, Dad. Yeah, I know that. I just think that forgiving him might release you from a lot of anger and pain. I mean, it doesn't let him off the hook. Forgiveness is for you, not for him. Right now, I want to be angry. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like if I'm angry, then my heart won't collapse from being broken. You know, honey, a buddy of mine once told me that a man doesn't cheat because he doesn't love his wife or he's attracted to another woman. Sometimes he just finds himself in a situation where he feels helpless and doesn't know how to react. So sleeping with somebody else and betraying the family is the answer? No, no it's not. I, it's just that sometimes situations are more complicated than meets the eye. Now, Stephen is willing to talk to you. I think you should hear him out. Maybe I will one day. For Rena's sake. But not right now.